What's up, everyone? Um, Nick, this, as you probably already know, is Swiffle Thinking, where we cover all things Swift and Swift UI related. And before we begin, I want to welcome back those of you who have been patiently waiting for this course. It's been a while since I made a video and I apologize for the delay, but I hope it was worth the wait because I am super excited to share this playlist with you guys. This playlist is gonna be just like my other bootcamp playlists, and that means each video is gonna tackle a different topic, and the topics are gonna to build on each other. So it's progressive, and it's meant to be watched in chronological order. I definitely think that's the best way to get the most out of this course. And I do wanna throw out there that this is an advanced course. So if you are just getting started, if you're just learning Swift or Swift UI, I highly recommend the other playlists on my YouTube channel where I have a beginner series as well as an intermediate series teaching you the basics of Swift UI. This playlist is going to be more geared towards people who are already comfortable with Swift, with Swift UI, and want to take their skills to the next level. So those of you who have been following along and have watched my other playlists, you are more than ready for this one. I think you're going to get a lot out of this playlist. Some of the stuff we're going to cover includes custom views, such as using View Builder. We're going to create some custom shapes. We're going to create a custom nav bar, custom tab bar, all kinds of really cool, useful stuff for your apps. And after that, we're going to switch gears. I'm going to look at some more advanced techniques that we can incorporate into our app to make our code a little bit better. So we're going to do things like use protocols and dependency injection. We're going to even do some unit testing. And we're going to wrap up the course learning how to use CloudKit to actually set up a real database with real push notifications in just a matter of minutes. So to recap real quickly, this is going to be a bootcamp series where each video is a different topic, and this is going to be an advanced series. So we're going to tackle more challenging topics. And if you are just starting, if you are a beginner, go watch my beginner and intermediate level playlists, which are available for free on my YouTube channel, and then come back to this one when you're ready. And I really can't stress that enough because in this series, in order to actually tackle some of these advanced topics, I have to move quickly through the beginner basic setup for each of these videos. So I'm not going to take the time to explain what a property wrapper is, what a at state does, because I've done that in my beginner series. And this series is going to be strictly for people who are already comfortable with SwiftUI and want to take their skills to the next level. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I am so excited to share it with you all. And if you want to stay updated on all my videos and when I put out a new one, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. You can also leave a like and a comment on this video if you're enjoying it, if you're excited for this playlist. So thank you for watching and an even bigger thank you to those of you who have been waiting very patiently for this course. I know there was a little delay between my last one and this one, but I hope it was worth the wait. All right, guys, that's it. I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.